Okay, so now I'm going to demo how to make a corrective blend shape manually. And this is not the way that I usually do it, but it's a good to go through this workflow just to understand what's happening once we use the plugin. Now, uh, this is Big Buck Bunny. Uh, he's from the Blender Foundation. Uh, and I'm just using him to demo in this case. So, <coughs> he's a really cool looking character. Now, um, all right, so here I have uh, Big Buck Bunny and I have a skeleton inside of him. So let's just look at that. Uh, we can see the skeleton there and you can see that I'm just animating uh, this one joint, two keyframes, one at one and one at frame 40. And that just shows what what's happening with the skinning. Now I've sort of gone as far as I can with this skinning and it's creating quite an ugly deformation there. So we want to fix that. So let's just take off those joints for a second and, uh, and try and fix that. Now there's a number of ways to do this. Uh, and, uh, and one of the ways is to do this manually. So first I'm just gonna show you a way that's kind of the flawed way of, of doing it and uh, just to sort of help break it down. So what we need to do is just duplicate the mesh. So I'm gonna hit Control D and I've now got uh, two, two meshes there. Big Bug Bunny and Big Bug Bunny and Body. We can just unparent that uh, outside. Now, uh, by default, when you duplicate a mesh that's skinned, it will stay locked. So you just need to unlock that. And now we have freedom to move that around however we wish. Uh, just move them over to the side here. Now, uh, this sort of, in theory, uh, would seem to work quite well, but I'm gonna show you the problem with this. So before I even go to sculpt that and fix it up uh, and use it as a blend shape, what I'm gonna do is just show you how this works. So. We're gonna click on this guy first and then the skin mesh second and we're just gonna make a blend shape. So I'm gonna go in here, blend shape. <laughs> and by default, uh, you'll have a default uh, deformation order and basic and it will be like this. So we can just hit create. And that's just the basic way of creating a blend shape. So this is the most basic way. You'll notice that the blend shape node appears at top of the skin cluster. That's the important thing. It's in top of the skin cluster. So uh, this little looks good until I actually put the blend shape on and uh, it still looks fine. Everything looks fine. We could come in here and we could fix this up by, uh, you know, moving around some vertices on this guy. Uh, I'm just using the this huge paint. So I'm just gonna come in here and smooth all that off. And you can sort of see how it's smoothing this guy over here. I'm not gonna to go too far with that. Uh, but if we scrub back, you'll notice that, ah, now there's no actual animation on this guy because the blend shape being on the top of the chain, sorry, let's come in here. Uh, the blend shape being last in the inputs means that it's overriding everything else and it's actually overriding the skin cluster. So if we come back here to frame one, we can take the big buck bunny off and we can see that that blend shape is now sort of animating. Uh, so what we wanna do is we actually wanna put that blend shape down below the skin cluster. So we can do that in Maya simply by coming up here and going all inputs. And we can actually just middle click drag this down below the skin cluster. It's, it's got a bit of interface troubles, but there, there it goes. And if we re-click on this, we'll see the blend, the blend shape is first and then the skin cluster. And uh, you'll see that the leg is actually kind of moving now, but um, with the, the blend shape on, so let's switch it off. You'll see this leg kind of moving and we can actually switch the blend shape on, but again, we're getting what's called like double transformations here. So you can sort of see how now with it on, it starts at this position and then goes even further because the skin plus the blend shape means that the leg is now going, you know, right up into the body. So. This is obviously not what we want, so how do we do this? Uh, well, first of all, I'm just gonna delete what I've just done here. Delete that node, uh, select. Okay, so I'm back in Maya now um, with my hotkeys working. So we just have to select the mesh and we have to go uh, select the blend shape. I'm just gonna delete this. So we just go delete node. And now I've got no blend shape left. And in fact, we just get rid of this guy completely. So how do we do this? Well, we actually duplicate it off at the frame one position at the default bind pose. Uh, so this is the pose that the skeleton was originally when we bind, bound the skin. Duplicate that off, unparent that out. You can see him there. And we're just going to uh, right click and go unlock selected. And then we can move this guy over to the side. So now what we can see is that we've got uh, this sort of a setup and the leg still comes up here. 
So now what we want to do is create a blend shape with this default one rather than with the leg up. So we go there and then we click on this guy and we can go create deformers blend shape option box. Now this time I'm going to do it at the front of the chain. So the front of the chain will just put it underneath the skin cluster. That's all that's happening here. So we can go create and now we have a blend shape before the skin cluster. And uh, because this is identical to the bind pose, what will happen is when the leg comes up, we'll just switch that blend shape on. So it's, it's on one. one. Uh, what you can see now is that uh, it actually makes no difference. If we're sliding that up and down, the mesh doesn't change at all. But it is actually hooked up when that blend shape is on, as we can see here. Let's just bring this huge radius here. We just bring that up and you can see that that blend shape is actually connected. So this is the old school way of doing it. And what we'd actually have to come in here and do is like actually come into this area and then just try and figure out by actually grabbing individual vertices around and moving them around and try and sculpt the shape on this whilst looking here. Now this is an extremely difficult thing to do. I have done it in the past and it just takes forever. So it's actually really difficult to sort of get what we're after here and uh, it can just take forever. So I'm not going to do it here, but you can kind of get the idea that what it requires is us to go in here and sort of like move around these vertices until we can get a bit better looking big buck bunny. And then we can uh, put that back into the, to the, to the animation with a blend shape. So we could actually come in here and key that at that frame 40 and then come back at frame zero and then switch that blend shape off and key that there. So now you can sort of see that that blend shape sort of hitting in, but it's, it's very hard for us to sculpt this blend shape on this guy without the leg up. So uh, what we're going to do next is use a plugin to actually have this uh, do it for us. So we want to be sculpting on this on with the leg up position. It's much better. And then we want to extract that and we can use this extract deltas plugin, brilliant plugin. Um, and uh, it can extract this blend shape for us. So let's see how to do that in the next lesson.